Hello and welcome back. Back to the classics. Right, today we're going way, way back. We're playing the original Resident Evil. I mean, how good was that intro? How good is that intro? Eh? It's amazing. Best intro you'll ever have in a video game. But, yeah, as you can see, we're playing Resident Evil, so let's get to it. Well, I think I'm going to do Jill, not be daft to play Chris, this is a wee bit hectic. I'll play Jill, since she, she has the best, the best storyline. I'll let you enjoy this awesome, awesome scene. Alpha Team is flying around the forest zone, situated in northwest Raccoon City, where we're searching for the helicopter of our compatriots, Bravo Team, who disappeared during the middle of our mission. No, I haven't found it yet. Bizarre murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about ten people. Victims were apparently eaten. Bravo team went to the hideout of the group and disappeared. Look, Chris! It was Bravo team's helicopter. Nobody was in it. But strangely, most of the equipment was still there. However, we soon discovered why. Chris Redfield. Jill Valentine. Barry Burton. Rebecca Chambers. Albert Wesker. Resident Evil. What is this? Wow, what a mansion! Captain Wesker, where's Chris? Stop it! Don't open that door! But Chris is... What is it? Maybe it's Chris. Now, Jill, can you go? I'm going with you. Chris is our old partner, you know. Okay, let me handle this.
Stay alert. A dining room. Well, of course, it's a fucking dining room. What else was it going to be? Ah. Stop running the tables, Joe. Run straight. What? <laughs> what is this? What is it? Blood. Blood. Jill, see if you can find any other clues. I'll be examining this. Hope this is not Chris's blood. <laughs> the hell would effort, you know? Give me that. You do need this, but I'm just going to take it now. Can't be bald taking a letter. <laughs> It's the hollow that an emblem was in. Yeah, I know, I know. <coughs> Fortunately, you can't skip the door sequences like you can in Resident Evil 3. Oh! Hey! Oh! You ugly motherfucker! Oh, run. <laughs> Get out of here. It's actually quite handy to go out anyway because Barrett will do his, th Barrett will do his thing. Barry? Even though he has a magnum and it takes like four hits to kill what the thing. It? Watch out! It's a monster! A little bit far fetched if you ask me. What is it? A dead zombie. Kenneth was killed too. Maybe by this creature. <laughs> anyway, let's report this to Wesker. Wesker's a dick. Wesker's fucked off and left you. Whiskers on deck. Told you. Whisker! Told you. He's you gone. Let me look for him, Jill. And don't leave this hall for the time being. Is that right? Aye. Well, I'm just going to go round here and back out. Voila. It's like the I shittiest investigation so. ever. Nothing. What is this all about? I can't figure it out at all. Beats me too. Now it's Wesker's time to disappear. I don't know what's going on. Well, it can't be helped. Let's search for him separately. I'll check the dining room again. Okay, I'll try the door on the opposite side. You do that. This mansion is gigantic. We could get into trouble if we get lost. We should start from the first floor, okay? And, Jill, here's a lockpick. It might be handy if you, the master of unlocking, take it with you. <laughs> the master of unlocking. Thanks. Maybe I'll need it. Thanks, Barry. Listen, if something happens, let's meet up in this hall. This time, I'll be there. Gotcha. Right, now we have, oh, we have the lockpick, so we will now be able to open door number one within these doors. Yeah, but first we are going to, we are going to need the map. Well, you don't need the map, but it's advised to kind of take it if you don't know where you're going. And it does come in handy. Occasionally. So, yeah, do take it. You'll regret not taking it. Uh, uh, I have a gun, I so I do. I'm forgetting I have a gun when I start. I'm too used to playing Chrissy's campaign the last couple of times. 
I forget you don't start off a gun in that one. Right, that way. Kill this son of a bitch before he gets to you. Because he is an ankle biter, and he will bite your ankles. <laughs> Egg ribbons, always a blessing. You need them to save games. Without them, who knows where you'll end up. Don't want to find out. Yay! One reminder in this room, you, you might not know, or anyone knows if they're a, if they're a veteran at the game. Always walk, always walk backwards. Like, walk backwards. Because the dogs, the dog, dogs are going to jump in the window and they're going to come from behind. So it's always good to just stand still and aim the gun. You don't have to move, you just have to stand still. And just fire, basically, and that's it. This one's going to come straight at you, so just do the same. It's pretty straightforward, really. Oh, I don't have any ammo, so I'm going to have to go back out. And I'll come back in. Should have went into the dining the dining area in in that other room. Oh, there's a help back in the dining hall area because there is a clip. And is it Kenneth? Yeah, Kenneth does. He has two clips which he should be he should pick up. And I'm going to go back and get them now, just to avoid avoid him. Oops, a daisy. Basically, just run. I should have picked up the clips the first time and I'm daft for not doing it. So I'm going to go all the way back now and pick them up. Oh, no, no, no. That's way. Yeah. Once I've got them, I can go back and kill the dog and get the other clip. So basically, back to the room where you were. Before the zombie came in the dining room and Barry killed him, where he was munching that little guy, that's where we're going. And now. I hate the door loading sequence. I mean, it's old school. I like it. It's annoying sometimes. Yeah, this guy. So basically, you pick up two clips. Which I should have done the first time. I'm daft. I think they combine? Yeah. So basically... Yeah. That's it. Sorted. So now I have to go all the way back to where I was, to be honest. All the way back through... Oh! Back through the dining hall. And all the way back through the main hall. A lot, a lot of backtracking in these games. <clears throat> I mean, can these games compared to the new games, Resident Evil 4, 5, 6, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, they're all good. <laughs> but there's too much action in them, not enough puzzle solving. Whereas these games, you're going back and forward all the time. There's a lot of backtracking. A lot of it. Right, now you find out where this little guy is. Where is he? Oh. Yep, I got him. There we go. I shot him with four bullets the last time and I've shot him with two again. And he's still standing, I mean that's like... Nearly half a clip. I'm using on him. There we go. Hey, once he's dead, there, is a, there should be a clip behind here too, so... Don't forget that. The more ammo you have, the merrier you'll be. You won't have to worry. <laughs> right, 
This is the room we should have been going in the first time before I had to go all the way back. I've just wasted time, to be honest. Uh, I don't think you need anything in here. This is more of a, a toilet situation. No, you don't need the mirror. Yeah. I'm pretty sure in the, in the director's cut you, you, you approach the mirror and a zombie does come out behind you. I'm getting a wee bit, a little bit confused with this in Director's Cut because the last one I did play was Director's Cut. I played that recently actually, because I was in the mood for it. <clears throat> and I got... A lot of the stuff in, stuff in that is quite different from this version. And it can be confusing. Oh, what's going on there? I was glitching like a motherfucker, you know? <laughs> right. Oh, one thing you need to remember is as well, if you take the shotgun off the wall, which you do want to take, if you take it off the wall, if you take the shotgun off the wall, the roof is going to come down in the next room and it's going to kind of flatten you, but Barry intervenes and he helps you. But there's another, another scenario in the game where if you take the bazooka on the top floor from that from that area first, Barry doesn't come and help you. So there's two scenarios that you can, you can either pick one weapon or the other. Either way, it has a different outcome. But you can also get the broken shotgun later on in the game to put in place of that shotgun. So either way, it's a win-win situation. And then you've got this happening to you. <laughs> You're like, oh shit! No, 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 no! I love how she just stands and stares at the roof. She's like, oh, what's that? What's that? You don't have to worry though, because if you've not picked up the bazooka, then Barry will come and help you. Hey, what's going on? I think so. Jill? Is that you, Jill? What happened? Barry? What oh, happened? There's a roof coming down. I'm gonna get fucking squashed! <laughs> oh, that was one big almighty boot. It's like, get that fucking door open! Oh, Barry! Oh, Barry! Too close. You were almost a Jill sandwich. Barry. Right. Barry. Barry, thanks for saving my life. You gotta love how Americans say Barry. Didn't you say you're going back My name's to the Barry. Room to do some you see Barry. Why Barry. On earth are you here? Uh, I just had something I wanted to check. Now, let's get back to searching for the lost captain and Chris, shall we? But you're not gonna explain, have a, a little heart to heart what just happened. I nearly get squashed by Thank a fucking you, wall for God's sake. Yeah, yeah. And he's just like, I'm away. I'm away back to work. Fuck off then. See you later. Goodbye, Barry. Uh, uh, shit. I'm not letting you anywhere near me. Die. One way you'll know if all the zombies are dead like any other game is always double tap. And if there's a lot... Oh, sick. If there's a lot of blood coming out from underneath them after you've killed them, then they're dead. It's a common fact. If they're bleeding, they're dead. Oh, need a new clip already. I think this one's still alive. Aye. Don't know why the hell I'm using so much ammo in this game so far. I mean, you never really use this much ammo. You've always got quite a lot. Oh, I can't carry any more items. That's just fan fucking tastic, isn't it? Right. Yeah, we really need that too. Oh, I can't pick up any more. I know, I know, I forgot, I forgot. My own fault. Sorry. Right, going to want to put away some stuff, eh? Uh... I don't need the first aid sprays, or oh, the emblem, 
All that old knife. I reckon I don't need the sh shotgun either. I can live without that. But I will take a clip. And I will pick up this. You will need this later on in the game. I'm not going to spoil it just yet, but you have to wait and see. Hmm. Right, I'm going to want to put that away for the safekeeping, because you don't need that right now. So you may as well put it away. And... I'll just do a cheeky wee save. Just in case anything goes wrong, you know, anything fucks up. Storeroom, first floor. And well, that concludes us for part one and hope you enjoy and see you for part two. See you soon.